what is going on everybody it is november 6 2022 this is the calm before the storm how's everybody doing today calm before the storm in big bear lake california got my little buddy theo with me uh let me turn on the light if i can i don't know how to turn on the light here i'm actually driving the rental car that my wife has there we go how you guys doing today hope everything is well um so it looks like the storm isn't going to be anything like originally predicted. So I'm a little bit a little bit bummed out about that, you guys. It's unfortunate, but I'm predicting maybe five or six inches at the most. Now that's that's what I'm thinking. That's my that's my guess. You know, we're not going to take the main road. We're going to take Fox Farm. Turn right here at CVS and get the get the burger. though I was being looked at real quickly uh, because I was on my phone by the authorities so I'm just gonna turn here and hopefully we're okay anyway hang on I'm gonna switch this hang on to a brighter setting okay here. there we go so it looks like we're not gonna get as much snow you guys we're still gonna get a bunch of precipitation but it's not gonna be what we wanted, unfortunately, sadly. Um, basically, it looks like we're supposed to start getting rain tomorrow at probably, I don't know, six or seven in the morning. Um, and then it's supposed to rain on and off all day. And then it's supposed to change the snow at about 10 o'clock at night. And we could get maybe one to three inches of snow tomorrow night. It's supposed to snow through about six to seven, maybe eight in the morning, and then it's supposed to change back over to rain, which is unfortunate, guys. Unfortunate, but it'll, you know, we need the precipitation, so it is what it is. Um, so six to seven in the morning, it's gonna change to snow or, or rain, and then at about six or seven at night, it's gonna change back to snow, and it's gonna snow all the way until noon on Wednesday. So <clears throat> they say tomorrow or Tuesday night we could get. Uh, three to five inches of snow um, I'm gonna say it's not gonna happen but that's just me being used to eight years of the forecasting up here being wrong every single time and it's never been correct or incorrect in our favor meaning more snow than they predicted it's always less every single time it's less so it's kind of a bummer um, I'm expecting maybe five inches total from this whole thing. By, by the time noon on Wednesday comes and we do the aftermath video Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a bummer, but it is what it is, you know? Nothing I can do about it. Wish I could. Anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna drive around and look at what the town looks like before the storm hits us. That's what these calm before the storm videos are all about. Just to see what it looks like right before the storm hits. And then uh, see what it looks like after the fact. Aftermath, the aftermath of the storm. How are you all doing this beautiful, beautiful day? Oh, there's officer right there. I'm gonna turn the phone off for, for a quick second. Okay, we just made that right turn onto Big Bear Boulevard from Stanfield Cutoff. And I got my little buddy Theo with me. Theo, say hi. Theo, say hi, buddy. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. Who's my little buddy? Oh, I love this guy so much. He is so cute. He is so cute. He's our little snow dog, guys. He's our little snow dog. Anyway, uh, yeah, look at the moon up there, too. Look at how beautiful this is. This is a nice calm before the storm video. As you can see, there's no snow left. We don't have anything left. It's unfortunate. But it is what it is in Big Bear. This is how it works up here. We don't get much snow, and, um, and then when we do get snow, it melts away fairly quickly. Actually, really quickly, yes. But this time of year, though, keep in mind the angle of, of, of the sun is still enough to where it's, it's beaten down good enough to melt the snow faster. So the closer we get to winter solstice, uh, the more the snow sticks around. Anyway. I'm just, uh, I'm just very thankful for you guys. You guys have been so there for me through everything. And I tell you every video how much I appreciate you guys. I just can't stop telling you guys and I never will because you guys do mean the world to me. Alright, we're 
passing Division Road. This is basically what cuts off Big Bear City from Big Bear Lake. It's the cutoff point for the most part. But yeah, so we're doing a Big Bear City part of this tour for the calm before the storm. This is made where it's mostly residential over here. There's not many Airbnbs or, or hotels or anything like that. This is this is the hood. This is the Big Bear Hood. But yeah, I'm driving uh, the nice four-wheel drive Jeep rental car that I got from for, for my wife. It's got all these cool four-wheel drive buttons that say like sand and auto, snow and and sand and and mud. Yeah, so she's definitely safe, and I'm feeling very, very good about that. Because I was going to give her my other Subaru, you guys, but totaled it. Hated it. What was that from, you guys? Men on film. All right, so. You know what? We're just going to drive straight. Oh, my gosh. Where are we going? Oh, my gosh. Turn on the brights real quickly. All right. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is exciting. You know, all these Calm Before the Storm videos are. But as I said, it's uh, they've really pulled back on the amount of precipitation we're supposed to get, especially the amount of snow we're supposed to get. And it's best that we get the rain if we want to fill up the lake because what happens with the snow is a lot of it evaporates before it has a chance to even get down to the lake. So um, contrary to popular belief, it's better if we get rain to fill up the lake than, than, than it is snow. A good snowpack's nice. That's my wife's old house right there. I know you can't see it, but it is her old house. But hang on a second, here's her old mailbox. We're just gonna pull over right here because I gotta respond to a message real quickly, okay? This is her old mailbox area, boom. Hang on guys, just bear with me a second. All right, you guys, so I turned around at the post office and we're just gonna kind of take the back streets home through Moon or through Fox Farm and Moon Ridge area. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna stop real quickly. I have a friend who's waiting for me. I have some of his tools and I actually have them in, oh, did I move them into this car? Yes, I did. Oh my gosh, I thought I forgot to put them in this car because we've been having so many different cars lately. It's, it's, it's difficult to remember. But yeah, guys, not too much snow coming, unfortunately. Um, but you know, I'll be out there doing the best I can. Once it starts raining in the morning, of course, I'll be out there recording for y'all. And when it changes to snow or if the rain picks up heavy, 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 of course, I'll be out there doing that. But yeah. But yeah. Hang on guys, let me text him and then I'll get you guys back on here. Okay, here, well while we're waiting for my buddy, because he said he'd come grab them, we're gonna take a Theo, who's that? Who's that? Who are all these guys? Oh huh? these are who are all these guys? Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Alright, so I know a lot of you wanted to come up this week for the snow. I still think it'll be fun for the kids, you guys. Bring, bring your children up and have a good time. I'm just not certain it's gonna be anything significant. Seriously, it's such a bummer. I'm so sick and tired of always telling you guys we're gonna get so much snow and then it just doesn't happen. It's a bummer. Hang on. All right, guys, he just walked up to the car. That's my buddy Gage right there. What up, Gage? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you for the tools, dude. I yes, appreciate sir. it a lot, man. Thank like, you. you have no idea how much of a help that is. Like, a huge, huge help. Um, I know I have my own, but in this big move that we made, I have no idea 
uh, where the heck they all went. Yeah, dude, no problem. Yeah, thank you, no thank problem. you. And are you still looking for a vehicle? Still? Yes, sir. So, um, um, what type of vehicle? Like, like anything from forty-five to about fifty-five hundred, something newer ish. That's uh, got tags. It's legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. And then, uh, yeah, guys, if anybody has anything that you're selling or um, desperately trying to like get rid of something that works well, though, um, please, please um, hit me up. He's a good dude. If he says he'll buy it from you, he'll buy it from you. He's a good guy. Got uh, cash. He's got cash for it. And uh, um, God bless you, dude. Thank you, man. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, sir. <laughs> too bad we can't see you too well in here, but... Uh, that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. Love you too, brother. You have a great rest of your day. You too. Thanks again, dude. Hey, dude, that freaking, that freaking screwdriver, that thing's amazing, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. Thank you again. Yeah. <laughs> Later, brother. Later. He's such a good dude. He's so cool. All right, guys. So sorry about that. I figured we had time to, to drop by while I'm doing the video, and I know a lot of you like to meet my my local friends up here meet the big barians so yeah as i said we're going to take these uh, back back roads to get back to moon ridge big bear boulevard is right behind us so we're not going to take big bear boulevard but yeah back here this is these are usually the routes that i take you guys uh when we're deep in snow because a lot of a lot of the the tourists that don't watch this channel are stuck in traffic and uh i don't want you guys to be stuck in traffic i want you guys to be able to enjoy your stay up here enjoy your time up here and not deal with traffic so this is sugarloaf boulevard this is never forget sugarloaf boulevard guys please don't ever forget sugarloaf boulevard what is it called sugarloaf boulevard this basically t takes you from uh from where big bear city and big bear lake meet from Big Bear City all the way to almost Sugarloaf. So you can get all that way just, just taking these back streets and it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. How you doing, doggy? How's the doggy doing? How's the doggy doing? Oh, you're so cute. You are so cute, Theo. Theo is such a cute little dog. But yeah. What else is going on? Oh, I uh, Riverside Harley Davidson called me back. A, a lot of you know that my motorcycle engine blew up. I have a 2020 Harley Davidson Fat Boy with a Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit. The thing is so unbelievable. It's so bad arse. We're, we're on Division Road now, turning left on Division from Sugarloaf. But yeah, anyway, they called me yesterday and I thought they had been screwing me around. Uh, because I'd left them not the nicest review because they had lied to me about a few things um, and then they wasted a lot of my time because I don't have time like I have a, a, a business up here and then the YouTube channel is totally separate and so I didn't have time long story short they have they've had my bike for over four months just sitting there and they haven't done any work on it everything's under warranty still thank goodness but they haven't done any work on it um, I had to call the warranty place for them to uh to tell me that the dealership hasn't even contacted them and this was two weeks ago so i was furious because i've been i've been making these humongous payments every month on, on on my new bike without getting to ride my bike during the time of year up here which is the only time you can use it is in the summertime for the most part so long story short they called me yesterday and the guy dmc he's one of the the service guys he's like hey nick i i got some really bad news for you and I thought basically they were going to say that you don't, you're, it's what happened isn't covered by your warranty, but he's like, I have, I have bad news, bro. And then he was like, the warranty people came and they approved it and we're starting work in a couple days. <laughs> and, and my heart went from my chest to my stomach back up to my chest. But I was like, that's, that's my sense of humor. I mess with people like that. So I knew that I had it coming, but yeah, it was, uh, so that's the good news guys is that my. I, I, I'm going to be getting a brand new engine on my 2020 Fat Boy with a brand new Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit. It's going to be a brand new everything for the most part. I'm surprised they didn't just give me a brand new bike, but that's okay. The rest of the bike is super upgraded also. With Even though I didn't need new suspension or anything like that, um, I got the 
best suspension they got. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, just uh, yeah, they just messed with me quite a bit. But getting my bike fixed finally. So it's been sitting there over four months, paying a ton of money a month for my car payment or the motorcycle payment, and not getting to ride it. So those of you who are concerned about that, I thought you might be happy to hear that. And uh, everything else seems seems to be going well. I went to Orange County today. That's 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 my hood. Um, went to go vi visit my friend Curtis, my best friend, and uh, yeah, basically that's that's what's been going on. Um, it's obviously not been too long since I've spoken to you guys because we've had this storm last week and something coming now, but. Yeah, you guys are a huge part of my life, and you guys are my brothers and sisters for sure. So I like sharing everything with you guys. I like being brutally honest with you guys about what I've been through and what I go through and some of the things that I've done and some of the good things I've done and some of the bad things that I've done. And um, I've never done anything that would like it, like intentionally hurt somebody ever. But, you know, I went through some struggles. Nine different rehab centers and two sober living houses over 25 years and now I haven't had a drink in over nine years guys so that's that's a miracle and and my life has become great in the past nine years go figure it's the promises I've I haven't been to a meeting this time around in my sobriety not one AA meeting but um, the promises are true you know if you if you do work your butt off to stay sober and um, have some support around you and do the right things then good things will happen and the best thing that ever happened to me was getting sober because I wouldn't be having this channel I promise you guys there wouldn't be a YouTube channel I wouldn't be up here I'd be dead I promise you I would not be alive anymore so it's a blessing um, that I went to all those rehabs and survived all the relapses because a lot of people don't it's a progressive disease drug and alcoholism so people do not survive it they they relapse and they get much worse at, on that next relapse. And then if they can get sober again, if they relapse again, it becomes worse even faster. But anyway, calm before the storm. Love you guys. As I said, I think we're going to get maybe five inches of snow total out of this. But the next video I make will be tomorrow morning when the rain starts. I love you guys a lot. Theo, say bye. Say bye, Theo. Bye. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thank you guys again for all the support. I appreciate it. I love talking to you guys. I love responding to your comments. It, it, it makes my day. It makes my day perfect. So thank you. I love you all. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace.